My most recent project to date has been these awesome magnetic hexagon picture frames. I'm really pumped about them. Uh, I think they're an awesome, easy way to blow up pictures that you want to hang on your wall. Or you could even just do a collage with them. I love that they snap together and they're extremely easy to hang. So you know what? Let's just get started here on I'm No Expert big on showing my design thought process so I'm gonna go through that with you in these videos so the first thing I did was open up fusion 360 and I drew out a hexagon and extruded that outwards my next step was I wanted to draw in these cross beams that you see here um, extrude those up too these are used to support the picture after that I measured my magnets that I was going to use and made the hole on the inside of the picture frame for where the magnets go. I patterned this around all six sides and so every side has in the very center has the same hole. Next I designed these brackets to attach to the frame that way you could screw two screws to them and mount the frames onto your wall. The next step was to start the separate top of the frame. Um, the top has overhangs so that it covers the edges of the photo. It also has slits at the bottom so that you can slide the photo in. I printed these off and, and designed them separately to help with, uh, with printing. All the overhangs and the slate would have caused uh, a hassle when it came to 3D printing. And so I saved the files separately and began printing the bottom. The bottom print came out really well. Uh, it's not a difficult print. There's not any overhangs. Uh, that's just the way I designed it to be a really easy print. Um, so just send it to your printer and let it uh, get at it. So once your bottom's done printing, just go ahead and send the top STL to your printer and uh, begin that print. Okay, so now that we have our two pieces 3D printed, what you're gonna wanna do is take the two and glue them together real quick. So let's get started. I like to use wax paper. Put that down. All right, now I'm gonna give you a closer shot, okay? All right, so here, when you 3D print it, you can see that there's a thicker layer on the top part. You want that part on the opposite side of where the hexagon screws in. So first you're gonna do a quick little bead of glue right around that edge. And I'm using this uh, cement for plastic molds glue. Set it down, line it up with your finger to make sure it's pretty flush. Give it a good push, and then I like to set like a book on top. Let it dry. Now that the glue is dry, we're gonna start gluing in these magnets. Um, you can find similar magnets on Amazon. They're just really strong, rare earth magnets with a half inch diameter. Um, my initial thought process was to have the magnets uh, polarity all be similar on one frame and then opposite on another frame. Um, after I began gluing them, I realized that this was actually not going to work. Here you can see on the left, my initial thought, and on the right, I ended up 
drawing out the correct layout. So what you want to aim for is to have every other magnet be opposite polarity. Uh, I did that by having a set of magnets that you can see here that are one polarity and then I checked it to make sure that the magnet I was about to glue in was going to be attracted to it and then the next one was going to repel from it all the way around the hexagons. Right here you can see that I actually went from no safety glasses to safety glasses and that's because when I was gluing in one of these magnets I pushed the magnet in and the glue squirted straight into my left eye which ended up requiring a prompt care visit. That was not fun. This is I'm No Expert and remember please safety first. Okay, now that we have the frames already, I went ahead and printed some pictures, cut them out so they fit the frame, and gave them a little test run. Now we're ready for the install. Uh, this process is really easy. I started with four frames, and connected the four of them, positioned them on my wall where I wanted, and then I marked the two holes in one of the frames and then one opposite of it. These are going to be my anchors for the frame. After I mark the holes, I just grab a few screws and uh, line them up and throw them in. It actually turns out that the first screw that I drilled, I hit a stud. Uh, I don't really believe that you'll need anchors or stud for this install. You might want to play it safe and use anchors. Um, the picture frames are just really light, so I think they'll be fine with the drywall. If your frames come crashing down, don't quote me on that. Once you have them all, the at least two frames secured on the wall, now you can move forward uh, just throwing up all the other frames and pictures that you have and any design layout that you want. Now when I installed these I of course removed the pictures from the two hexagons that I screwed into the wall. Uh, the easiest way to get these back in is to just take off that top frame and slide the other pictures in and then replace it. Once you have that done, you can literally just start throwing the other frames up there. Just make sure that they're aligned and that they are snapping together like they should be. Uh, sometimes, like what I had to do just here, uh, you might have to turn a picture a certain way just because the frames might be in alignment weird. Um, that has no effect with the pictures like falling out or anything like that so you should be good. The coolest part about these picture frames is that you can grab them and move them around and form any shape that you want. Uh, you could go from like a beehive look to like an element chemical look. Um, it's really simple once you have the other one secured. Uh, they just kind of snap together and you can keep adding more pictures to it or taking it away and to me that's the best part of this project is the fact that it's kind of ever growing and what we have now might not exactly be what you have in a few months from now. Everybody nowadays has mobile devices that they use as cameras and photography has really blown up because of that. Everywhere you go you have a really nice camera in your pocket. Uh, but the number one thing I see is that people are taking these really awesome pictures and they're leaving them trapped on these devices. And I think that's a mix of just the difficulty that it takes to actually, you know, print them off and have to frame them and find the frames and where you want them on your wall. And 
to me this project is really cool because it eliminates a lot of that hassle you know the next time you're out and you're taking awesome photos just you know you can just print off a frame real quick print off the picture slide it in it just throw it up on to your wall and expand this ever-growing collage of photos I also think that uh, that these frames are really useful when it comes to blowing up a picture that you've taken into a large format uh, for cheap. The price of huge poster prints is honestly kind of expensive and I think that this is a great route to take for blowing up your photos um, and still managing to save a few bucks while doing it. I really enjoyed this project. Um, I am going to be releasing all the files, all the STLs, um, for free on Thingiverse. So you can just go there and download them and start printing them off right away. Uh, of course you still need the magnets, but I would love for you guys to just hop on this, get uh, a few collages going. You know, take some pictures, send them to me. Like, I want to see what you create with these. I designed them for people to enjoy, for people to use. So, please, if I'm, you know, if if it can be used in a different way, even show me. Um, I really hope you guys appreciated this video. You know, of course, if you did, please like and subscribe. I plan on coming out with um, really diverse content. So. Whatever I do release, it will probably be different, not always involving a 3D printer, but uh, this is my way of, uh, of a creative outlet. So like I said, I hope you guys just enjoy this and uh, yeah, it, please share whatever, whatever you end up doing if you end up making this. I would love to see it. Thank you. Sorry.